now. Right now, 530 police making arrests after a deadly drive-by at a graduation party in Southwest Miami Day two years ago. Three people were killed. Five others injured in that ambush. And now five suspects are in custody. Local tenants Alex Finney is live to explain how they were finally tracked down. Alex. Well, Louie and Christy, this was a horrible situation. You know, you had so many other agencies involved in this investigation as well. Three of those men were arrested here in Miami. You had one that was arrested in Atlanta, Georgia, and another one in Fort Myers, Florida. This happened almost two years ago, and you had a lot of young people. They were out gathering, having a really good time, but sadly was interrupted by this gunfire. A brutal and horrific shooting three dead and five injured in what has been called a graduation party nightmare. Nearly two years later, some resolve for the victims' families. Five men were arrested in connection to the deadly shooting that happened in June of 2021 in Southwest Miami-Dade. This investigation spanned beyond just South Florida. Jeremy Emmanuel Devine, James Albert Johnson, and Aaron Joseph Clermont were arrested in Miami-Dade. Willie Lee Thomas was arrested in Atlanta and Michelle's deck, Ja'Cory Matthews in Fort Myers. We don't forget our families that are left behind. We hear the cries of the moms in the street, especially that one of those victims was a correction officer, part of our law enforcement family who lost her life. Police said the victims were leaving the party when they were shot at. Florida Corrections Officer Tylesha Taylor was shot and killed along with William Everett and his 18 year old cousin died as well after the car that the two were in crashed into a wall at Miami Dade College. Here's an interview Local 10 did with the family the day of the shooting. That's my baby, you know. That's my baby. <laughs> Emotions also high for Miami Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez, who recounts being on the scene that day. And I personally will never forget standing on that corner and in the street of uh, 104 and 122nd Avenue and seeing the carnage that was left behind as a result of gun violence. And obviously we hope that this does bring some semblance of closure for these families that have just been waiting for almost two years to get some sort of conclusion in terms of what happened back in June of 2021. We do know that the department is still investigating all of this, so I'm sure more to come. For now, this is the very latest live in Doral, right outside of Miami-Dade Police Headquarters. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Alex, thank you.